What is autism? Is the question that I hope to answer with these videos. Uh, there are no videos, but this may be the first. Yes. Um, autism is a word that almost everybody recognizes, like certain other words, quite a few of them, uh, it's a word that we use, uh, recognize, um, have certain assumptions about without actually knowing what we're talking about or hearing about, uh, such as people talk about God, people talk about the soul, people talk about reincarnation, people talk about spirit, people talk about energy even. Um, and they don't actually know what it is that they're talking about, and nor do they know if uh, they mean the same thing that somebody else understands, or where somebody else means it. Uh, there's a lot of room for misunderstanding. Now, uh, I could say, and I'm about to say, that I am autistic. Um, that statement is true to me. I feel that it represents my experience and I don't mind identifying myself obviously as autistic. However, uh, I have not been diagnosed and most people don't, that I know don't think of me as autistic. Therefore, my identifying myself as that is somewhat uh, risky because I'm inviting people to put me in a box. I'm also um, inviting s some degree of controversy um, and possible objections from other autistic people who feel that maybe they're autistic and I'm not, or that I'm using the word in a way that uh, it shouldn't be used, or any number of reasons why it is politically sensitive for me to say I'm autistic. It's not particularly relevant whether or not I'm autistic, except for the context, this present context, uh, which is that I'm going to try and answer the what question what is to be autistic. Right? Well, or we could begin with what the word means. Uh, the word autism was coined in the 40s, 1940s, that is. Uh, by two separate psychologists, I believe, certainly physicians and professionals, uh, on different continents, or at least in different countries, at the same time. Not the same moment, of course, but within the same brief period, certainly the same year. Uh, and they were both unaware of the other, and yet, in one of those strange synchronicities of history, they chose the same word to describe the phenomena that they were observing in children, um, and they both, as far as I know, uh, class it as a form of child schizophrenia, a specific kind that they termed autism. They took the word autism from a Greek word, autos, or something like that, uh, for self. The basic meaning then that they were underlining or pinpointing was that, or well, the basic experience um, or condition even, was uh, self immersion. That these children were um, within their own worlds, um, unable or unwilling to connect to or refer to the world or outside of them and others, other people, um, but existed as it were in a bubble, their own awareness. Uh, which is interesting if we consider that schizophrenia, um, part of the descriptions of schizophrenia, and I think accurately, is that the schizophrenic has a very tenuous sense of self. Um, it finds it difficult to separate their 
self, a sense of self, from their surroundings. It feels at sea, um, drowning in sensory data. Um, anyway, I do think that autism, that kind of behavior that's diagnosed as autistic, is a response and or reaction to the kind of sensory and psychic, emotional, mental, physical overload. Uh, my, the purpose of these podcasts is to explore and hopefully reach a better, clearer and deeper understanding of what autism is um, as part of uh, a project, it's kind of more than a project, a mission that I feel that I have which uh, I've termed Autoculture, which I hope will expand, extend into an actual website, an actual domain for people to visit and, and use for their own benefit, autistic people. Um, I lost the thread completely. Anyway, this is Autoculture. My name is Jason Horsley, and I am autistic, sort of. So, thank you for watching. I'm going to stop it now and just stick it on YouTube, and we'll see where this goes, if anywhere. This is the fireplace which I thought it would be nice to sit by. Um, I was going to, because it would make things seem warm and cosy and homely, uh, which they are. This isn't my house, however, I won't say who it is because that's private. Um, I was going to say that I was going to do or talk about specific things that are autistic, to, you know, that um, are examples of what the autistic experience is like. but. I'm not because this just turned into an introduction, that's a painting on the wall. Um, I'll get to that next time. Thank you for watching.